This tutorial demonstrates how to create a software as a service listing for Microsoft's commercial marketplace for availability on Azure Marketplace or AppSource storefronts. First, we navigate to partner.microsoft.com dashboard and authenticate with the account used for Microsoft's Partner Center. On the left-hand navigation, we go to the Commercial Marketplace tab and select Overview which brings us to this screen. Here, I can find my progress, setting up my profile, tax information, resources to get started with Azure, Office, and Dynamics. And to create a new offer, I click on the New Offer dropdown. And to create Software as a Service, I'll select the Software as a Service option. First, I must create an offer ID and give my offer a name. I'm brought to the Offer Overview page where I can see the status of my first offer. I get started on the Offer Setup tab, and here I configure the offer to be sold through Microsoft or not. For a simple listing, I'm going to say no, and then I choose the Call to Action either a free solution that the customer can select get it now, create a free trial, or for a listing, I want the call to action to be contact me. I will leave the test drive unchecked, although that is a great option to get customers engaged with your offering and more likely to convert to a paid. It's mandatory to connect a CRM system so that there's somewhere to route the leads generated by customers on the storefronts. Now that I've set all the configurations on this page, I'll click Save. You will notice that at the top of the page, the status has changed to complete, and the options on the left-hand side have updated to reflect the offer type that I'm creating. Next, I move on to Properties. And on this page, I select the categories and industries for which my offering is relevant. I can select to use the standard contract, which is contract terms provided by Microsoft to simplify the enterprise customer procurement process, or enter in my own terms and conditions in the text box below. Again, I click Save, and now we move on to the offer listing. The mandatory fields are denoted by an asterisk next to the field name. I can choose to enter search keywords. I need to enter a privacy policy URL. I can enter in useful links for customers to learn more about my offering. And I need to enter in contacts so that a customer can reach out to me as needed. Now I enter in materials relevant for my offering. First, a PDF. Then, I must give my document a name. I enter in logos to enter on the store. Note that the required pixel length and width is denoted on the side. I'll enter in a screenshot. And I need to add an image caption that explains what is taking place in the screenshot. I believe I filled out all the mandatory fields and I'll click save. I see that the status is complete. And now that I've completed all of the steps on each of the three pages for creating a SAS listing, I'll click Publish. 
This brings me to the Review and Publish page, where I can see each of the steps that I've completed. See that they are completed, the last modified date. I can easily navigate back to make other changes. And click Submit. My offer that I've now submitted first goes through automated validation, which takes roughly one hour. It goes through a certification process where Microsoft validates that it meets all of the requirements and criteria for offerings in the commercial marketplace. And then I'm presented with a preview. I can see exactly what my offering will look like on the storefront before I sign off and click publish, at which point roughly an hour later, it will be live on either Azure Marketplace or AppSource, depending on the audience for my offering.